next masla that has been asked is can i read surah ikhlas repeatedly whilst in the state of menstruation so the answer for this is that the general principle is that a woman in the state of menstruation should not touch the quran kareem nor should she read the quran kareem however the fuqaha have mentioned that there are a few exceptions to this that it would be permissible to read some ayats of the quran kareem that number one have the meaning of a supplication so you will read the ayat with the intention of it being a dua for example in the quran kareem there is a dua rabbana atina fid dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab an-nar so now if a woman in the state of menstruation read this dua a hundred times 500 times a thousand times it would be permissible for her to read that with the intention of it being a dua and number two it would be permissible to read those ayats which have the meaning of praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we would read those ayats with the intention of it being a zikr for example لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين. This is a praise of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. There is no god apart from you. There is none worthy of worship besides you. Indeed, we are the wrongdoers. And if we were to look at Ayatul Kursi, Ayatul Kursi, you can say, is also a form of zikr. Therefore, if a woman in that state was to read Ayatul Kursi before going to sleep, it would be permissible. Similarly, the question that was asked was regarding Surah Ikhlas. So yes, Surah Ikhlas, if we look at it, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدْ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولِدْ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفْوًا أَحَدْ If we are to read the meaning of this Surah, then it is the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah is one, He has no partner, He has no children, there is nobody similar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so it is a praise, it is a zikr, so therefore in the state of Hayd, it would be permissible to read Surah Ikhlas numerous times. Similarly, reading the four quls would be permissible, like I said, you, you can read Ayatul Kursi, and you can also read the last two ayats of Surah Baqarah as well, Aman al Rasulu, and obviously we, it is, should automatically be understood that reading Durood Sharif and other Tasbih like Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, that is allowed anyway. And this idea of reciting Surah Ikhlas in this state, you know, it is a very good idea. Like I've told you, we shouldn't waste these days, we should do as much as zikr as possible we should involve ourselves in whatever form of ibadat is possible for us in that state and that is zikr so to read surah ikhlas a hundred times five hundred times three hundred times however many times you like but a good and great number it is a very good idea and one of the fazail of surah ikhlas i will mention to you is one time the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was in Tabuk. He was in Tabuk and he was there for a jung and suddenly Hazrat Jibreel descends and he comes to the Prophet and he informs him that one of your companions Muawiyah bin Muawiyah has passed away. Now would you like to read his namaz Janazah? Would you like to read his funeral so the prophet sallallahu replied yes i would i would like to read his janazah salah but how we are in tabuk and where my companion passed away that is medina munawwara it is very far so are you going to take me are you going to bring the body here what is going to happen so jibrail alayhi salam he says no I will not be taking you to Medina 
nor will I be bringing the body here. Rather, it will be option number three. And that is, look at this, in Jibreel alayhi salam, he struck the earth with his wing. And as a result, there was not a single tree, there was not a single hill, except that every single thing had humbled itself and it had lowered itself. And this enabled the Prophet ﷺ to see the body, the funeral of his companion Muawiyah bin Muawiyah radiallahu anhu and his bed was then raised and the Prophet ﷺ gets ready and he reads his janaza prayer and he, as he is about to start, what does he see? He sees that behind him there are two rows of angels. Suddenly, two rows of angels appear behind him. And in every single row, there were 70,000 angels. Subhanallah. Two rows of angels in every row had 70,000 angels. Prophet ﷺ leads the janazah prayer and after he finishes, he asks Jibreel alayhi salam, that, O oh, Jibreel, many of my Companions have passed away before this whilst I have been on an expedition, whilst I've been out and about. But this offer to me has never been presented that would you like to read their janazah salah? But this companion of mine, you came and asked me, there must be some special action, there must be some virtue, there must be something which he obtained this rank that I led his janazah salah. So Jibreel alayhi salam replied, do you know why? It was through his love for Kul Huwallahu Ahad. Through his love for Surah Ikhlas. And he would recite this going and coming, standing and sitting and in every single condition, riding as well. He would read it all the time, constantly. So why? It was because of his love for Surah Ikhlas. So it is a very good idea to read Surah Ikhlas as much as possible. We love it, we like it because it is short, so that is not the correct mentality. But may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to love it for the correct reason. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen, the time for iftar has entered.